let's continue the discussion after we understand how to show using a diagram the effect of the change in which on the change of hours work now let's move on to analyze or to show using this diagram where we want to decompose two effects the first one is the income effect and number two is the substitution effect why do we have these two effects because whenever there is a change in the wage rate this means two possibilities where the change in that wage rate for example increase in the wage will increase the workers income and this letter is associated with the income effect where when we say income effect the effect would reduce the hours work on the other hand when there is a change in the wage rate where in our example there is an increase in the wage rate the increase in the wage means increase in the price of leisure increase in the opportunity cost of having more leisure so what's the effect of this workers then would substitute leisure for work and this is what we call the substitution effect so here using this diagram we want to decompose the two effects and we will start with the left side diagram what we need to understand first is the original position start with this budget line ef and u0 indifference curve where point p is the original tangential point and if you can still recall from the previous discussion when there is an increase in the wage rate from $10 to $20 there is a rotation on the endowment point E here where our budget constraint becomes steeper and therefore we have a new tangential point given by point R so remember that's the analysis before we have point P, the original tangential point, to point R. Now we say that when there is a change in the wage rate, we need to take into account the effect of income and substitution effects. First, we need to deal with the income effect. How to capture income effect? To do that, we need to draw a parallel line to the original budget constraint. That means we are drawing a parallel line to this line EF until it touches the new indifference curve. If you do that, you will draw this particular line DD where given this DD, we have a new tangential point given by point Q. So here what we can say is due to income effect, there is an increase in the leisure hours of this worker from 70 to 85 hours of leisure where we find that at point p we have 70 but at point q we get to more leisure hours in this case the income effect means this worker spend less hours working but the analysis doesn't stop there now we need to take into account the substitution effect the substitution effect is shown by a movement along the new indifference curve that is a movement from point q to point r and given this movement we find that due to the substitution effect this worker now reduces his leisure time from 85 to 75 so this is the final position from the earlier analysis so what we need to see here is to see the net effect between these two notice that the most dominant effect in this analysis is the income effect because we see i write here ie to denote income effect while this one denotes the se the substitution effect and obviously here we find that the income effect is more dominant so when the income effect is more dominant it means that an increase in wage decreases the hours work if the income effect is more than the substitution effect so this left side diagram shows us the situation where 
the income effect is more dominant or we can say here more than the substitution effect therefore what happened then we find that this worker would have less hours work so we can write here hours work would decrease so this is exactly what we find from the net effect considering both the income effect and the substitution effect moving to the next one notice that point p is the original tangential point where originally the worker spent 70 hours for leisure and then given the increase in the wage rate we have point r as the new tangential point and point r shows that this worker spent 65 hours for leisure but we need to decompose the effect whenever there is a change in the wage rate decompose the effect into first income effect and number two substitution effect so we are doing it now for the right side diagram over here so what we need to do first we need to take into account the income effect first Remember that income effect means we are holding the wage rate constant and in, in doing that, we then draw a parallel line to the EF. We draw it until it touches this indifference curve UI, the new indifference curve here. Then again, we have this line DD. And now we have Q as the new tangential point. And over here, we find that this is the range showing us the income that means there is an increase in the hours of leisure from 70 to 80 due to the income effect as i mentioned to you earlier income effect will always creates a reduction in working hours as shown here now this worker spend more hours for leisure therefore less hour working that's the income effect shown by this range the next thing is to capture the substitution effect and that can be captured by a movement from point e to point r along the new indifference curve qi so here it's moved from q to r and therefore this is the substitution effect i write here s e so what we find over here is the substitution effect is more than the income effect so we can write here in this case to be consistent to my earlier note i write income effect first so we find that the substitution effect instead is larger than the income effect in this analysis so taken into account both effects we find that the final effect is that the worker spend more hours working over here we can draw a conclusion from our analysis we can say that there is an ambiguous effect of the change in wage we are looking at the wage increase where in our earlier diagram the left side diagram an increase in wage decreases hours work because the income effect is more than the substitution effect and then on this on the right diagram we have the following conclusion an increase in wage increases hours work if the substitution effect is more than the income effect so what we find here is both effects would be present what matters is which effect is more dominant so in our analysis so far we have taken into account the change in which w whenever there is a change in w which rate you need to know that both income and substitution effect would be presence the next step of the analysis that i'm showing you here is we are decomposing the two effects income effect and the substitution effect but if we want to analyze the change in the non-labor income there is only one effect that is presence that is the income effect and in that case whether the worker would work more or less that depends on whether the worker considers leisure as a normal good or an inferior good please read the book see you in the next session thank you very much wassalam